what type of property does the city own? The city owns all types of property, vacant land, commercial buildings, industrial buildings, former school buildings, and, and residential. Uh, initially, it was set up that, um, in 2014, it was set up that the land bank would, would become the owner of all residential property and that the city would maintain its commercial properties. It didn't quite happen like that, but most of the residential has been transferred to the land bank for management and sale. However, the city does still own a few residential properties. What should you do before you apply to purchase city-owned property? I would strongly suggest that you make sure you have paid all of your outstanding blight tickets, if you have any, and pay any outstanding tickets owed to the city. Please note that if we receive your application and you have outstanding blight tickets or owe any um, taxes, we will cancel your application, send you a denial letter with the amounts that we have identified that you have outstanding. Once you have remedied the situation, you can bring in documentation to prove that you have remedied that and then we will proceed with processing your application. We will not look up to see if you have paid that off, but we we uh, hold that as your responsibility to do that. You bring that in and then we will proceed with your application. Okay, how do you find city-owned properties to purchase? There are two websites that I would suggest you visit. The first one is DetroitMI.gov forward slash properties. The other one is DetroitDevelopment.org. I strongly suggest that you visit both of those websites as they have slightly different information but you can purchase property from either one. The application is on actually both of those. Okay, DetroitMI.gov forward slash properties. Again, it has the application. It has frequently asked questions, and it has properties being marketed by the city. Please note that if you have identified a property that you want to purchase and you don't see it listed as being marketed, please still continue to apply for that property. It doesn't mean the city won't sell it. The, the properties that are being marketed just are properties that the city has identified that it wants to sell. DetroitDevelopment.org is a new website. I think it was developed um, earlier this year or late last year. Uh, there, again, you can purchase city-owned property, um, and you can also purchase Detroit Land Bank property. And I should have mentioned from either website, you can apply for a land bank or city-owned property. Uh, to understand development opportunities and requests um, for proposals that you can do that on that site and to also understand the planning areas in Detroit. The planning department um, has been restructured and as I said, they no longer sell property of, of city ownership, but they are doing what planning, what, uh, what the mayor envisioned that planning should be doing is they're planning out the city. So uh, you can explore the planning and, and housing priority areas there. Um, also, you can understand the retail and commercial landscape of the city. And I would please note that uh, the information on both of these websites is subject to change. And um, because you, please note that because you apply to purchase property does not guarantee that the property will or can be sold. Had an interesting conversation first thing this morning before 8.30. Uh, person called in saying that their, um, they, they are, what well, the person called was actually an attorney and indicated that his client had been denied because the city had decided to market the property. So please note that your request to apply is not a guarantee that it can or will be sold, but we will take all applications. The city does take all applications under advisement. Uh, DetroitDevelopment.org is a wonderful site. Um, it has a map of the city of Detroit, and all of the city-owned property is identified on that map. However, again, as I said, just because you see it identified on the map as city-owned does not mean it's available, and those properties change due to sale or other transactions affecting the ownership of those properties. How do you apply to purchase city-owned properties? Again, you visit DetroitMI.gov forward slash properties or DetroitDevelopment.org. They both will take you to the application, which can be completed online. Um, just some of the, I, I would strongly suggest that you complete the application in its entirety. Um, and some of the um, ses sections in the um, application are the address of the property that you are applying for. I would strongly suggest that you give a detailed intended use. Your offer price, market value. The city of Detroit sells its properties at market value. Uh, I would suggest that you do 
you do some due diligence to determine if, if your use is zoning compliant, uh, that you create a, that you provide a timeline of once you purchase the property, what are you going to do with it? So let's say you are, are um, inquiring on purchase, purchasing vacant land. So you would put on your application, you're gonna purchase this vacant land and you plan to build a retail store. So I would suggest you put on your application, you're gonna purchase this vacant land and let's just say you apply for it August 1st. So let's be kind of realistic. You're probably having it in your hands by December 1st. I'm just you know throwing dates and numbers out there. So you would say uh, come January 2019, you will keep the vacant land maintained or sidewalk shovel. Come the spring, you will keep the grass cut. Um, come spring, you will um, start your footings or what have you, or you will reach out to your architect and you know the cost this much and, and put how much you anticipate how much you have investigated that each step will cost. Because the city really wants to understand what you're planning to do and they want to see your vision as best they can, okay? And many times your application will, you know, um, has to speak for itself. You will not be able to present your ideas to the city in person. If there's a maintenance plan, include that. You will have to include hard and soft costs, your architectural costs, your costs to acquire the property, funding available. There is a slot on the application that asks for funding available for the project. We are trying to figure out how much money you actually have in the bank, but that you do have funding available to do what it is you want to do. The city wants to put uh, these properties in the hands of people who can do what they say they can do not hold on to them and they continue to deteriorate and become an eyesore to the public. And then also if you can, if, especially if you're gonna purchase vacant land or even building, if you can do a drawing, it doesn't have to be a drawing that you pay a lot of money for, but just be able to give the city some idea of what it is you want to do visually. You don't need to do that, but just strongly suggest. Again, the purchase process is about four to five months. We are working with the city to see as best we can to shorten that, as we understand that is a long time for someone to identify a property and then get it in their hands. But understand it is a process. Uh, once the property, once you apply, we, we go to the city and request their approval to move forward. Uh, many times during that approval process, the city uh, has, uh, um, has to look at it even deeper so it may take a while for us to respond to your application. Once we receive that application, you will be sent a, once we receive the approval, you will be sent an offer to purchase letter. And then that will have the purchase price that the city has agreed it will sell it for. If you get the letter and you say, oh, that's not what you were thinking, you can call that person on that uh, letter and have a conversation about that price. But understand there is a floor that the city has agreed to sell the property for. Uh, once that is agreed upon, you will be sent a purchase agreement that you will have to return to our office, signed and notarized along with your earnest money depo uh, deposit, which is 10% of the purchase price. Uh, your request to purchase property has to be approved by City Council. And once it is approved by City Council, you will be scheduled uh, a closing and the property will be sold. What should I do prior to the closing date? Secure closing funding, make sure you have your funding available once you receive that letter uh, that you will, that we have um, received the certified council resolution from the uh, uh, council approving your sale. Obtain a title commitment. It is not a requirement, but it is strongly suggested. So this helps you understand what you are purchasing. Um, and the survey of the property is very important because many times people purchase property and they are not clear of what they have actually purchased. Sometimes you look at a building with a lot and you think you're buying the building and the lot. You may be buying the lot, you may be buying the building, you may not be buying both. Or you may be buying a portion of the building. Okay, so it is important that you do your due diligence. How are properties sold? P property is sold as is, where is, and with a quick claim deed. And that is the end of my presentation. And I thank Council President Jones and Council Member Ayers for having me. And Jerome, I thank you for assisting on the computer. Thank you, everyone.